Well, welcome to the show. Uh, it's another episode of the Neighborhood News, and welcome to it. We're going to give you the news, and it's uh, starting out with the traffic, weather, and sports, same as we normally do. Now, don't worry, we're going to look out the window, and uh, that's how we know we're telling the truth. And what do we see? We see it because the light is on it. And, uh, okay, so we go out there, we look for traffic, there ain't no traffic, and uh, the sports, of course, are unspeakable, and uh, the uh, weather is actually nice. It's a little bit sunny out there. Not bad. The grass is actually loving it. We're starting to move. Uh, we're getting through the wet, and we're getting into the dry, and that's okay, that's good. Uh, otherwise, in the news, of course, it's the same as it's always been, and uh, you know what that means. It means that we're all in the fucking COVID jail, and uh, there's nothing new about that. So, we don't even have to go there, right? That's right. So, uh, what else is there out in the world besides uh, traffic, weather, sports, and news? Well, in my neighborhood... My neighborhood, you know... Uh, it's a strange little place, and it's uh, filled with uh, kinds of people. And um, you got uh, uh, you got uh, people pursuing their own uh, pursuits. You know, most of these people have already done their thing, right? Uh, I would say that ninety percent of the people here at the park they already did their thing. They made their fucking pile, and then they fucking quit all that, sold everything, and they moved here. Okay, so that's pretty good. Got a lot of people with a lot of the same uh, experience in the same part of their life. They're all synchronized, is what you call it. And, uh, you know, that is because it's a segregated community, of course. They're going to make rules about how they let people in. Of course, it's, uh, you know, part of the thing. So, how they let me in? Well, ask yourself that question. Do I look like I'm fucking qualified for anything? Do I look like I'm going to fucking pass the fucking scrutiny of uh, any kind of fucking... No, of course not. So what does that mean? Well, it means a little bit of, uh, you know, waving your hand over here. They say, oh, look at that. Look, what's that? What's that over here? Okay, then, you know, it's just, there's, easy, there's ways, let me tell you. Anyway, so you use the ways. I use my ways. Wave the hand, and in you go. So it's okay. Now, you get in here, I find it's filled with a bunch of dear people. These are a bunch of beautiful, wonderful people. And, uh, to a measure, I'd say that each one of them has come to basically the same conclusions in their life. So you're looking at what kind of values these people have. Well, they have a certain particular set of values that they've always had, and they lived them all out, and it's very consistent, and uh, it's all synchronized here. And it's quite interesting. Yeah. And so, now these people, they're not what you would call so-called elites. Not by any measure. Well, maybe by some measure. And let's see if we can measure it. We're going to estimate now the values, okay, of what is an elite. So I look around here, and I see these people. Uh, that's a trailer park, mind you. Oh, that's the truth. These are what they call, what they call mobile homes. Oh, look around. Oh, that's right. Now, the roads are beautiful paved. The trees are fucking beautiful mature. The lawns are beautiful man manicured. Every place is kept up. And all the people are fucking smiling and lovely, right? There's no true traffic, right? There's no unexpected surprises about anything. It's a fucking, pretty fucking nice situation. Oh, sure, the trailers. They're not all jammed up next to each other like a fucking container, uh, you know, uh, yard. They're spread around the park, you know, they got little parks on the inside, and they all kind of, you know, go in a circle, and then there's another little half circle that goes around that, and it's, it's thoughtfully put together. And uh, well put together by a lad back in the day when it was a when you could do such a thing as an individual human. You think about that. Anyway, the guy did it. They never let him do that again. Anyways, a little bit of a gold mine they got here. So this neighborhood, you got these people, but they're not what you call elites. Now, the secret to this place, of course, is is that oh, it's what you call inexpensive. Say you're looking at real estate. All right, well, uh, you know, real estate, what's the rule about real estate? Location, uh, location, location, you know. But it's land, isn't it? I'm afraid so. These situations not land. You own the structure. Don't own the land. You lease the land. You own the structure. And uh, the transactions, of course, 
when you buy and sell this structure, it's not a real estate transaction. No. It's just a transaction. And so it's not subject to the regulations so. It's got its own set of regulations, mind you. But it's the same as like, uh, say for instance, a motorhome or a yacht. So you build a yacht or buy yourself a yacht, nice big one, maybe you're out there on the west coast, and many times, get yourself a big live board, bought a fucking 60 footer, and uh, put her out there in the fucking marina, pay your fucking marina dues, and uh, live board. When you sell it, as you don't, you don't fucking pay property taxes on that bad girl, uh, you know, on the bad girl, you know, if that's the name of your boat, bad girl. You don't pay property taxes on that fucking bad girl. She's a boat. She's not a fucking property. Not a real estate. You know what I'm talking about? Realty. It's not real property. Why is it not real property? Because not land. Land is the only fucking real property there is. Everything else comes and goes, yeah? Oh, it's all dust in the wind, that's for sure. So, if that's the case, that's fine. So what I do, I put my money into this. So, I can avoid all of that. Let's look at a liveaboard. I got a liveaboard here parked right in the park. It's like having a fucking 60-foot yacht parked down at the marina. It's no different. One of the difference is, I ain't got to worry about leaks. Now I can stay year-round. When the ground freezes, I'm still here. In the boat, you have to fucking haul that thing out of the boat and fucking get on your bike and hit down the road and go down where it's warm. Fuck that. I can't do that. But that's uh, another story. We may have to do that. I mean, I'm getting prepared for that. It's okay. i got to put a fucking draw on this. You want to know why? Fucking mustache is in the way. Fucking mustache is a real pain in the ass. People don't understand the fucking pain in the ass, the fucking beard and the mustache. What do you think I fucking have a beard and a mustache? It's, it's not attractive. It's not good. It's a fucking terrible mess. It itches all the time. It's a fucking pain in the ass. It's way more trouble than shaving. You think shaving is trouble? Oh, I hate to shave the face every day. It's a fucking tip pain in my ass. You know, the fucking water and the fucking blade and all that fucking stuff. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah? And they go, oh, well, I'll grow a beard. It's fucking, you know, it's just like no fuss, no muss, right? Low maintenance. Sure, but it's a lot of fucking trouble. It's not good. The only reason I grow the beard is, is that that's the tradition, that's the tradition uh, in the wartime. Where I'm from. It's a part of my culture. So anyways, don't worry, I'm not keeping the beard. Don't intend the war to go on forever. Of course, that's what they said the last time it was forever. Oh, the last forever went on, uh, well, it went on for a while, but it didn't go on forever, as it turns out. Okay, so this forever isn't going to go on forever either, but that's okay. But uh, I would say that, uh, boy, shit, I tell you, I can't even tell a thing anymore. They know how to fucking add things up and subtract them and bring them down. Adding and subtracting, dividing and uh, multiplying, it's only going to get you so far. I tell you one time, one time, you think back in the day, Is it, well, it was a long time ago, and uh, I had troubles, you know, there's a uh, crime, you know, there's a, uh, there's a, uh, you know, uh, unrest, tensions, of course, there's all kinds of uh, corruption up and down the system, and, uh, People don't know what to do. So what do they do? Well, I'll tell you the story of what I saw somebody do one time. What they do is, say, okay, we got fucking troubles. All right. So they go around and they round up what they call the elites. The best of the best. That's who they get. They round them up. There's not a lot of them, but they're out there. They round them all up. They bring them in and sit them down. And you say, okay, we got troubles, uh, which means you got troubles, because uh, look around. If this place isn't yours, whose is it, right? You people are the, the elites. You're the king of this, and you're the fucking master of that, and you're the fucking boss of these guys. And, you know, if it's not for you guys, what the fuck is it, right? So, you guys, uh, things are not great, you know? It's fucking, it's, it's, there's some bullshit going on in your place. And so... You guys are going to be now responsible for fixing this fucking problem. Okay? You got to clean this mess up. So 
go out there, you're going to spread the word, do your thing, figure it out. You're the leaders. So you're going to go out there and fix the problem. You got to clean up. You got to, you know, stop with this tension and the fucking crime and there's drugs everywhere and there's, you know, there's uh, there's a lot of bullshit disrupting what we're trying to do here. We've been doing this a long time. You guys know it. Now, you're not all the same. There's different parts, but you all are here together to, to do this and you're the elites. You're the bosses of the fucking situation. I said, okay. And so all of those guys, they say, okay, well, fuck. I didn't know what I was going to do. Okay, fuck. Really? Is it up to, up to us? And they say, well, I guess it is. Okay, so what should we do? They have a couple of meetings. All right. Well, they end up dividing it into two parts. What do these elites do? Well, they end up, they have a meeting and they divide it up into two parts. They've got the interior part and then they've got the fucking, they've got the part that everybody can see and then they've got the part that nobody can see. The part that everybody can see is, hey, we're the boss and we're walking around and where's your pass and where's your fucking thing? And uh, you can't go here and you can't go there and I fucking don't think and we're going to look in your fucking car, we're going to look in the locker, we're going to do all these, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, we got armbands, right? We got certifications of authority. We got to deputize these fucking guys and send them out there to rouse people up. That's what we do. Get them out there, fucking rouse the people and fucking kicking them up off the sidewalk and fucking going through their shit and fucking moving them along, busting heads. And fucking give them a badge and fucking give them a fucking bit of club and send them on their way. You know, and a sash across here, you know, like a safety hall monitor. Got those guys. Send those guys out. Okay, that's fine. That's for all the fucking pussies in the group. Get them occupied with that. The rest of the hardcores who are waiting for the meeting to be over so they can talk about the real thing are going to sit down and do the rest. That's the other side of it. This is the important part. This is where they decide, okay, we're going to find out who these fucking troublemakers are. We're going to go over there and we're going to fucking have a uh, conversation with them and we're going to fucking tell them what's what or else. And so they say, okay. They say, well, uh, who are we going to do? I mean, who's the fucking bad guys that we're trying to deal with? They say, well, this guy's a fucking crimer, and this guy's a fucking uh, scumbag, and this guy's a fucking uh, freak and a fucking degenerate. And so uh, we've got a list of guys. We've got about a fucking dozen guys. And uh, we're going to go to them one by one, and we're going to give them the fucking business, right? And they say, okay, well, that's cool. I say, well, what do you mean? So we're going to drive over to their fucking house. We're going to fucking put a gun to their head. And we're going to tell them they're going to fucking do their thing, or they're going to fucking get their fucking uh, cranium cracked. So what? So, yeah, exactly right. Don't worry. There's nobody in the room who said, what, what? No, no, they're all in the room for that. Uh, and so that's what they do. And that's how you really do it, right? There's nothing happening out here to think, oh, what is the hall monitors calming things down? No, no, no. It's uh, these uh, elites now uh, <clears throat> up in, uh, you know, they get in the Cadillac or whatever it is at the time. And they drive over there and, uh, you know, they, they, they just do the thing. They do a little bit of threatening, you know. They do it the first time they're kind of reasonable. They say, listen, uh, you know, you're going to be cool uh, now, you know, or you're going to have to get the fuck out or stop or whatever it is, but it's no more of that bullshit, right? And, uh, you know, we're the fucking guys in charge, and don't forget it. And so these other guys are like, well, what the fuck? I don't fucking think that. And so they keep on keeping on, right? So, you know, a guy steals a car stereo out of the fucking parking lot. What do you do? You fucking go over there, and you burn that guy's house down. That's what you do. You go around the corner with your, your lads, and... Uh, you shoot flaming arrows into the fucking guy's house with a fucking bow and arrow. Uh, and you burn the house down. Well, that guy gets a message and he's gone. You got another guy who fucking starts some shit because he didn't fucking like that. And what do you do with that guy? Well, you put a fucking pipe bomb in that motherfucker's car and you fucking blow it up. You fucking turn it upside down and burn the motherfucker, yeah? That guy fucking, that guy pipes right down, Okay. You got some other guys that uh, you're going to fucking do some pretty serious damage, right? Going to break some bones, yeah? Now, you can break bones all day long, right? You might even fucking burn a house down and get away with it, right? You can't fucking blow up a car with a fucking bomb and not fucking turn some heads. Listen, maybe you killed the right guys. I'm not saying. But uh, that's going to turn the fucking heads and you can't get out of it. And that's what happens. So the heads get turned and say, holy fuck, who are these guys? Well, those are fucking FBI guys, right? And they're here to fucking see what the fuck is going on. You say, well, it's just us fucking trying to get these criminals out of here. Say, oh, you're trying to get the criminals out, are you? Uh, no, no, no. You're the criminal, motherfucker. They say, what? Uh, no. I say, yeah. And they say, oh, wait, 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 wait. Now we've got a whole thing. And so everybody comes in and they say, well, no, no, we, we told them to do the thing. We got a little bit out of hand. And, you know, we, there was no intentions. And there was some collateral damage. And it was all, you know, all good, you know, uh, good Christian folk uh, trying to do their thing. But things didn't go exactly as planned. And, you know, you got to cut some break and everything's fine. Right, you know, somebody insurance pays off, and uh, you know, there's maybe some charges or probation or something. There's some, you know, some mild consequences on the surface, but these people go about their business. They're still elites, aren't they? Of course they are. And they go on to do their thing. Now, this is an absolute 100% real true story that happened in the past, and it's so far long ago you won't even know. Now, here's how you're going to measure it. 
How old is, uh, what's the guy's name? How old are these guys? You know, and think about, about how old, how young it must have been. Because it was a long time ago. I mean, it's back in the fucking Kiefer Sutherland days. It's back in the, it's back in the, the fucking, uh, what is it? It's like fucking early John Wick. I don't know any of those guys back in the day. You can see the movie made about it. I was there, I was standing right there. I knew every single one of them in there. Saw the whole thing happen. And uh, from a ringside seat, now, I was observing and see what it was. And what we got here is uh, elites trying to deal with the fucking masses. And uh, <clears throat> and they got a pattern of how they deal with them. They got a pattern of behavior, and they got a pattern of fucking, uh, the whole situation goes through a whole process. And uh, believe me, this process doesn't change. And it's not, the, the participants of the process do not have to understand any of the process in order to participate. Now, this is the fucking key part, isn't that? Isn't that the interesting part? Is that all of the participants in this fucking process, they don't have to know shit. They just have to fucking be part of the fucking process of what is it? That's why we got this problem and we're going to fucking put the solution. How does that work? Well, it always works the same way, right? Well, we got to fucking get the right tool for the right job. And you got to get the best tool for the best job. And uh, then we're going to fucking let that tool do a couple extra jobs. And the next thing you know, <clears throat> it's fucking everything's a bent nail, you know? I guess what you get. You get a shiny hammer and a bunch of everything is all fucking. So you get fucking hammer holes in the fucking wall. Yeah, that's what you get. So it's okay. It's a cycle pattern uh, process. Now uh, you might say, where are these lads now? Well, you can see where I am. I'm safe and sound, and you know I'm immune to a lot of these things. I had a great life. I, I imagine that what I've been doing in the last, uh, let's say, however many lifetimes has been since that time. I've done many, many lifetimes since then, right? And uh, I expect that those lads have probably done the same thing. But let's say that they're probably in the same, I can't imagine they're in the same place. But they were pretty embedded there. You know, when you're an elite, psh, you know, uh, you know. And these guys are fairly limited. Uh, you know what they call a big fish in a small pond. Now the pond, are, you know, that's the pond. But of course, you know, it doesn't matter. Anyways, uh, I would expect that these poor lads, uh, you know, got as far as they were going to go. And uh, you could probably look them up on the fucking uh, Google and uh, find out pretty quickly uh, where they are. And I would say that they're about medium height. I would say that they none of them exceed uh, about 85% uh, of the, you know, they're up there. Uh, but uh, they're not up there that high. And uh, most of these people uh, did not achieve uh, their true uh, height of power. I give them all B's. They were all A's. And then this happened, and then they were limited to B, B, B grade, right? And so they still do pretty good. A B grade is pretty fucking, uh, pretty fucking high up there, right? Especially when you look around, and most everybody is a C grade, right? There's not too many B's, and there's very few A's. <clears throat> uh, you know, there's some D's, and there's very few F's, but most people are just about a C. You know what I'm talking about? Okay. So these people were a little bit better than average, okay? But they weren't the elites that they thought they were, right? And so there's only so many people. Like, there are people who can fucking bomb people, but you're not one of them, okay? And, and you know, you, you might think you could be able to burn down a house, but I, I don't think you can. Now, you want to go around and rough people up, threaten them, and fucking break a couple of bones or two? That's okay. Uh, you got to be careful, though. And these guys went a little bit too far, too. They, they did other things, you know, that it's against the rules, you know. Well, you got to follow these ancient rules, you got to throw the power. People don't know how to use their power. And just because you're elite, they don't know how to fucking do it. So what these guys did, another thing that they did, was of course that they uh, <clears throat> they couldn't resist the gimmick, the device, uh, the storyteller because it's all propaganda. You know what they're they're the classic terror organization trying to instill fear on the rest of them. You do something terrible to one guy just so that you can scare the fuck out of everybody else and make them all do the same thing. And so one of the ways you got to be able to take credit and you got to be able to gloat and taunt. And so that's what they would do with the graffiti. Yeah, and uh, this is back before the graffiti, you know, graffiti back in the day, it's not what it was today. Back then, like I said, this is a long time ago. Back then, graffiti was like a dangerous thing, okay? And uh, these guys would fucking make a big graffiti thing, uh, you know, leaving their mark, saying, you know, write the name of their thing. It's like the Wolverines, you know what I mean? Yeah, except it wasn't like that. It was it was terrible. And, uh, you know, it, worked, it was long before the fucking Wolverines. Anyways, they did that kind of thing, and it worked out pretty well for them. Uh, they got fantastic results, you know, that's the real truth. But the problem is, is that they went too far. 
And when they went too far, all of it collapsed down and all of everything went away and they just went down another level and the next people took over and then the problem is kicked down the road a little bit because, uh, you know, that's what goes. And uh, we're in no different situation. The people who are running the world today are the people who were doing that when uh, they were lads. When I was a lad, the people who run the world today are they're about the same as me, right? They're old men, right? The fucking world is run by old men. That's the fucking truth of the matter, as it should be. Oh, fuck, what do you fucking think? You, listen, try to, you, you know, you, can, uh, you can't outrun me, you can't outlift me, you can't outfight me, you can't outsmart me, you can't outthink me, you can't outwit me. There's, you know, the older you get, the fucking stronger you get most of the time. And then there's limits, of course. I expect a little bit downhill. Okay, that's fine. But uh, as far as power is concerned, old men is where it's at, right? Oh, yeah, young man, he might fucking be able to go. That guy go all day long, eventually he's got to go to sleep. Old man doesn't need to sleep, okay? So you're going to be dead right there in the first day. So... Uh, you can't beat the old man. He's got the maximum power. And so old man run the world. <clears throat> now, who's the old man of the day? Well, those fucking guys, they're the guys that I fucking, uh, you know, I can, I'm an old man. And so I know these people from the way back. I know I know what they were when they were kids. I know what they were doing. I know where they're from. I know what they were doing. I know what uh, books they were reading. I know what fucking TV shows they were watching. I know what kind of fucking uh, things they were doing on their off time. I know what they did at the fucking uh, football field. I know what they did out there behind the chemical shed. I know all about them. All right? And I know what happens to them, uh, some of them who, who can't fucking read or write, and other ones who fucking want to be president, and I know what happens to them when uh, the boss man comes along and says, hey, why don't you fucking solve these problems? You're the boss, you're elite, you're the fucking leader, go ahead and do it. And the guys say, okay, well, fucking let's get after it. So what do they do? Well, they fucking try it classic ways. Don't you think they tried anything different? No, they fuck the same way, you know, listen, uh, it's because why? You don't need to know, you don't have to fucking know. These are systems, it's an archetypical situation. Types of, it's a fucking it's a whole process, a fucking cycle of behavior. And so, yeah, we're well, going to go out there. Authority, well, use the authority. Yeah? And you don't understand the authority, so you overuse it, you abuse it, and then it's not taken away from you. Well, this is a fucking cycle, isn't it? Yeah. Well, why is that? It's because nobody's actually trained. The elites, of course, are not those people. You'll notice that there's parts of the story here where there seems to be uh, somebody in the story what's telling these fucking people that they're elites and that they should be doing these. Who is that person? All right. And then that person's got somebody telling, these are not elites. These are fucking tools. All right. The elites know better. Okay. If you don't understand the fucking pattern, of use and abuse and fucking power and responsibility. You ain't a fucking, you ain't an, you ain't a goddamn elite. You got no fucking power. Right? Can't get a refund on your fucking chicken McNuggets. What do you fucking think you're going to do? Oh, we're going to, you know. So good luck to you. But the true elites, <clears throat> you never meet them. They're in the background. So uh, they're always there. They're the owners. They got the land. They got all the land. And those are the elites. The land owners. You can fucking make all the widgets and fucking get all the aluminum you want. But, uh, you know, you're going to fucking pay rent for it the whole time. And that's the situation. So everything comes from that. Now, there's other fortunes, and they're great fortunes. There's competitive fortunes. It creates a lot of power. All these dollars, all this flowing energy creates a lot of fucking, you know, creates armies. But, uh, <clears throat> The real power behind all of that, of course, is all of the fucking real wealth. The real wealth, of course, is the fucking land. The land underneath. The land, all, every square inch of it is owned by somebody, right? And uh, it's not too many somebodies. It's just a few somebodies. And those are the true elites. Okay. People whose names are on the fucking piece of paper that says that they own everything, and there's a fucking army and a government and nations, and everybody agrees that that's what the case is. And they all pay. Everybody who's fucking set foot on that fucking land pays one way or the other. Yeah. What comes through or flies over or anything else. Yeah. And there's a small number of these people, and then everything else comes down from there. There's levels, all right? And so everybody working on the surface, these renters, all right? They're all a bunch of fucking renters, leaseholders. Those people, there's elites among them, right? And then there's people of fucking mercantile, the fucking grubby fucking manufacturers, the people who are making things, right? Uh, you know, there's people there too. But what's the greatest thing to be in the world, of course, is to be in the audience. It's to be in the most powerful job, the most greatest job in the world. The greatest thing you can be in the fucking world today is to be a fucking member of the fucking audience. The audience screams, right? And it gets paid very well. The fucking audience is where you get the fucking money. You get paid to watch. You get paid to add your voice to the fucking crowd and cheer and boo and uh, throw things. And as long as you keep doing that, then you're going to get fucking bread. And if you, you know, play your cards right, you can control the fucking beer tent. 
but uh, you know the you know it's all about this illusion right you got the elites in the stands you know the guy with the bread the guy with the fucking beer tent the guy with the good seat, the guy with a whole bunch of extra seats, sure, there's a whole system there. You got the elites on the field, these gladiators, some of them are fucking badass and don't forget the cheetahs. And you got some of the elites up there in the boxes, oh, some of those guys are fucking, oh, those are rich and wealthy guys, oh, they may be in charge of the boss, they get the fuck. And then you got the elites, the guys who owns a fucking stadium, who owns a fucking land. You got a long level of elites in between you and there, and it's too far, but it does, it does go and it's real. Who is it that owns all this property and all this land? But we can't get into it. It's a long story. I don't have all fucking day to tell you. And it's a list. I mean, you can read it. I mean, it's a list of people, right? Some of these names are hard to pronounce. But some of these names are fucking real easy to pronounce, right? <clears throat> Sound just like every other name you hear. But you don't even know who. They have ways of testing. And, uh, you know, I tell you what. Uh, the whole human race, they don't mind it. All of these people say, well, the population. Well, oh, boy, those are all renters. The more renters you got, the more fucking rent you make. Simple as that. I don't give a shit. They're fucking spoiling the world. I don't, nobody cares about that. There, right? it's okay. Permanent holder, uh, land owners, right? And so, uh, what do you do in a situation like this? Well, nobody knows. Nobody knows exactly what happened, and nobody knows what to do exactly in a situation like this. For me, I like to observe. You know, the question, of course, when you find all of this stuff is, is like, oh, what are you going to get the balance? Well, you're always going to find he's got an imbalance over here, trying to create the balance over here. And then we go fucking back and forth, and you get a little bit, uh, uh, what you call, uh, overcorrection, right? And, uh, you know, because you're trying to, you got an imbalance over here, you got to try to fucking put a little energy over here. Overcorrection, and you create a fucking uh, pilot induced oscillation because you put more energy in, and it amplifies it up and multiplies it out. And you can't have that. You can't get that, and that's what you want. You got to reduce energy comes in. You got to de escalate that fucking thing in order to fucking smooth it out, right? So, you want to get straight and level, you got to fucking figure out how can you remove energy out of that system rather than fucking adding energy into it. And so slowly but surely taking your hands off the fucking wheel and letting that fucking plane fly straight and fly. You can hit the fucking gas, put the hands on the fucking, uh, you know, just gently, gently, right? It's like, a, it's like the mindset, you put a fucking, and it's like a little bird in your hand, right? That's what you want. And you want this like a triangle. You've got a fucking triangle situation here, right? Everything's triangle. It's Pythagorean, and it's a fucking, uh, you know, palming. It's, it's, anyways, you'll know. It's a palmer. So what you do is, I would say, is to uh, play the, uh, you know, uh, when, when people say there's elites, right? There's elites, and then there's elites, right? you got to, how many, how many major championships do you have to win to be an elite? All of them? You gotta win fucking all of them to be the elite. I mean, who's the elite? There's a lot of fucking elites out there, right? And so <clears throat> there's different uh, different levels, okay? And uh, you know, <clears throat> doesn't matter how good you are, there's always a bigger fish. How many times do I have to say that? And uh, you gotta say it over and over and over again. Of course, that's the way. So what does it do? That's just to fucking say something. The implication of that is what do we want? Well, people should hear that, and then they should say, well, what does that mean for me in my life and how to do things? And what does it mean, you know, maybe? on how things are, what does that relate to it? We understand what it means. And you can just ponder these things all fucking day. But uh, as far as I can tell you, elites uh, is mostly an illusion, right? The, the, the illusion is, is that uh, you create the idea of an elite. So you get that person to do what they want to do and say, oh, you're special. You're a special one, right? Yes, you are. And, uh, oh, God broke the mold after he made you because you only need one. You're special and beautiful and good. And here, I got a special job for you. Oh, you've got a special job just for you. I need you to go over here and do the thing. All right. Yeah. All right, then. So, uh, if you can't fucking uh, tune into any of that stuff, if you don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, well, then, uh, you know, join the club. 